the attributes of the heart center, compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. Good morning. This morning, I'd like to share with you something that has helped transform my life. It began in 1998 when I went to a workshop in Arizona called Opening the Heart Center, led by master teacher Brew Joy. It was my first step into non-religious spiritual life, and I learned about things I'd never ever heard about or imagined. It redefined mind-blowing for me, and my life was never the same again. I was very moved by learning the heart's attributes and want to share those with you because they are so powerful. Now you found on your chairs a card with the attributes of the heart center on it. We'll be saying the attributes a number of times, so keep the card handy. Well, we know we're supposed to love everyone for who or what they are. We all understand that mentally, but how do we actually do it? At the workshop, we learn that connection to spirit and the higher realms takes place not through the solar plexus or the crown or the third eye, but through the heart center. The heart is the center chakra, where we go to get centered it is our center, our spiritual center, the center of our feelings. It's not a thinking chakra by any stretch of the imagination. Rather, it opens up our feeling channels. As we proceed, let the words on the card be your mantra and let's say them together now. Compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. The attributes of the heart are high vibrational words. What does that mean and why is it important? Well, they make you feel expansive and allow you to open up to new energies. They allow us to move to a higher point of reference. Think about that as we say the words together. Compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. They should already start making you feel good. So what are these attributes? Compassion. Compassion often gets confused with sympathy and empathy. Empathy is just for a feeling. For example, she has a special empathy for animals. Sympathy is a tender concern and the power to enter into another's emotional experience of any sort. You can be sympathetic with a cause. With compassion, you have both an understanding of the pain and the desire to somehow lessen that pain. It's a feeling plus an action. Mother Teresa is an optimal example of compassion in action. Feel compassion flow in now by saying, compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. Healing presence is healing of another that happens just by your being present, really present for another person. Often it's just by taking the time to listen to them Reverend Annie does that here at the center every week. Healing can be mental, emotional, spiritual, and even physical. More of us can be healers if we recognize we have that quality within us. Feel the healing presence flow as we say, compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. Innate harmony. Innate means inborn, natural. It's already there, waiting to be awakened. You don't have to work for it, just claim it. Now we allow the stuff of life to derail us at every turn, and we miss out on that inner peace that should be ours. The heart center can help get you back into harmony. 
compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, <clears throat> unconditional love, <clears throat> unconditional love. That's the most complicated. The ancient Greeks had four types of love. They had eros, which is emotional, and sexual love. It's the root of erotic. The second is storga. This is family and friendship love. The love of parents for children, members of a family for each other, and friends for each other. Philia. This is platonic love, warm and tender affection. This is the root for the city of Philadelphia, which as you might know, is the city of brotherly love. That's philia. And the fourth is agape. Agape is an unconditional love that sees beyond the outer surface and accepts the recipient for who they are, regardless of their shortcomings, flaws, or faults. Now this is very important. You may not like someone, but you can choose to love them just as a human being. That's a very important thing to remember. Agape is about giving and receiving nothing in return. And the most important thing to know is that unconditional love is not an emotion. It's a state of will. Compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. The more you say these words while focusing on your heart in a quiet meditative moment, the stronger they become within you. For example, instead of reacting to something in anger because someone or something stepped on your ego, go to your heart center and respond from there. If you tend to be critical, and all of us are at some point or another, before you criticize anyone, go to your heart center and see how the heart responds. One time I was working on being more compassionate. One thing I do not feel compassion for are intersection beggars who stop you at traffic lights asking for a donation. I was temporarily working in a part of the city that meant I had to drive through a low income section of town and there were traffic light beggars at every one of the 12 lights and the lights were timed so you had to stop at most of them. I hated it and it troubled me that I did. Well, one day I came to a stop where a young male was asking for money. I was the only one in the lane and I was caught. He looked straight at me. I grudgingly reached into my purse to pull out a dollar and instead pulled out a five. What? A five? Then I thought, well, I can afford this, which I could. I opened the window and gave the young man the five. I wish I had a video of the reaction because never have I ever seen anyone go to full unmitigated joy in two seconds flat. He was so ecstatic that I felt like I'd given him a hundred dollars. He did a little dance of joy, blessed me hundreds of times over, shouted hallelujah, and was so grateful that I felt a little taken aback, and his joy was infectious. In fact, I saw how my parting with some money for these people was something I could easily do. After this experience, I decided to keep a small supply of fives in my glove compartment so I could give them to other beggars I encountered. But I'd learned my lesson, so I did not see any more along that stretch of road ever again. Lesson learned. Be aware. If you are working on these attributes, there will be lessons that come along to teach you. <clears throat> Through the heart center, be the change you want to see. Through the heart center, let only words of love be spoken. 
It's not hard to access the heart center. Let the God presence within you do the work. You simply focus on the heart center. Compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. I suggest you use the attributes as a mantra wherever you go. If you're stopped at a traffic light or stuck in a long shopping line, traffic lights are marvelous things. They teach us so much. They force us to stop and take a moment and slow down. Use that moment productively. Keep the heart center card in your car and read it at every opportunity. Now think about those attributes and answer these questions for yourself. How would you eat from your heart center? How would you open a door from your heart center? How would you clean your house from your heart center? Make a cup of tea, write an email, and how would you hug someone from your heart center? You may be thinking, well, we do that every week here. Well, we do not. What we do is hug right side to right side, which is a liver to liver hug. We throw our right arm over the person's shoulder and hug them, focusing on the right side. So I'm going to ask you to throw your, pull up your left arm, put that over the person's shoulder and hug them so you have heart to heart contact. And I want you to try that now and see how it feels. So please stand, turn to someone next to you and give them a heart to heart hug. Left arm up over the shoulder and bring them to you with the right arm. Well done, now try it with someone else. Same exercise. Left arm up, right arm behind, pull them close and feel the difference. These are heart sharing hugs. Thank you, you can sit down again. You know, I tried this out on Reverend Annie before the service. I didn't tell her what I was doing, but I asked her which, which hug felt different, and she was able to say, the heart center hug. So, there you go. Compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. So, what happens when the heart center is activated? As you open your heart center, you begin to lessen the stranglehold that ego has on you. The center helps move you beyond that. <clears throat> the heart center will give you a brief moment of pause to allow you to choose a different way of responding to something if your first impulse is to be critical or harsh. You find you can let go. People will do unusual things for you just to be nice. A roofer came to my house and fixed a couple of loose shingles and said, no charge, and I was ready to pay him. I got a 50% discount on my copay at physical therapy. People you pass on the street or meet in stores or offices smile at you for no reason. They don't know they're doing it, and it is rather disconcerting. They're merely responding to your lovely, warm, heart-filled energy you already know you can only change yourself, not anyone else. But you will find that others change when they are around you. That's the healing presence. People want innate harmony. When they sense it in you, they will respond without knowing why. Send heart energy to anyone you are in disharmony with, the difficult people around you, and see what happens. Sending energy is as simple as willing it. If you want, you can imagine a stream of light flowing from your heart to another person. Now I'd like to do a brief meditation to attune your heart. I'm going to ask you to become comfortable. Place your hands gently on your heart center. You need to physically touch the center. Become calm and still. Breathe in light through your crown and send it down, down into your heart. Let your heart become a repository for your high self, your soul, 
the part of you always connected to source. Each time you breathe in, your heart becomes warmer and fuller. The light fills all the empty crevices in your heart, allowing you to expand outward. Feel the expansion of your heart center. You feel loved. You feel whole. See the warmth spread out to everyone in this room, to everyone and everything in this city, in the nation, in the world, and expand that glow into the universe, and most importantly, to yourself. And now that your center is vibrating with the richness of all that energy, I want you to ask your ego to step aside for just a moment. Think of a person that you are seriously out of harmony with. This person has deplorable moral values, a massive ego, is a liar, and is, in general, hateful. How can you possibly send love to this person? Your ego may not be able to, but your heart center can. If it takes too great a strength of will, then do it by baby steps, just a little, is better than covering that person with a full blast of negativity. See at least a wisp of compassion reach that person. Let yourself be their healing presence. Send them a wisp of innate harmony. And finally, surround them with unconditional love, which you can do merely by will. Now disconnect from that person energetically and focus on something wonderful. Call the heart attributes to yourself to uphold you as you go about your day and your life. See them swirling in a rainbow cloud all around you, a cloud of compassion, healing presence, innate harmony, unconditional love. Thank you.